What is going on? Welcome to Greggles TV. Synology sent me a bee-themed unboxing. So we're going to check out what's inside the box and we're going to see how everything works. This right here is uh, honey-infused single-serve tea. Then we got this. What is this? Oh, it looks like it's a bee-themed pin to wear, as well as a keychain right here that looks like it's a uh, some kind of storage unit, which looks, huh, somewhat interesting. And also, like I know what it is. Ooh, our first thing, the B Drive. This is the one terabyte version. I believe these go all the way up to four terabytes. You go one terabyte, two terabytes, four terabytes, and these back up your computer locally. Inside the box, you get a USB-C to USB-C cable. They also give you a USB-C to USB-A adapter. A quick start guide that walks you through the apps to download, how to set it up. Looks really, really simple. Man, and then the B drive. This thing is super, super small. Really lightweight, up to four terabytes. This one is one terabyte. The only port on this that I see is the... USB-C port and then you plug the other end into your computer. Next we have this, which is the B Station Plus. It is a fairly substantial, especially when you compare it to the B Drive, but this is eight terabytes of cloud storage. They also have a regular B Station, which goes to four terabytes, but there's big differences between these. Uh, the Plus version, which is what I have, has a better, stronger processor, more RAM, four gigabytes versus one gigabyte, had they both have the same uh, LAN port, external ports, they both have a USB-A and USB-C 3.2 Gen 1 ports. They both come with a three-year warranty, and this can turn into your private and family cloud for storaging and managing and organizing digital ac assets. Now, the back of this, you can see, comes with the following. You get a power button, you get a USB port, USB-C, you get a ethernet port, and then you also get the power port. Let's first talk about the B drive, which is really simplistic. You plug it into USB-C or USB on your computer and you just use it. And what's great about this is once you're done using it, or you can just keep it plugged in all the time as kind of like a backup or a, a mobile type drive that you can and want to plug into anything. You could plug it into your phone. You could plug it into a computer. Uh, you could remove it and then plug it into another computer and transfer files. It's really just a, a really small external drive. And uh, up to you know, one terabyte on here. I think they, they also sell a four terabyte as well and a two terabyte, if I'm not mistaken. So you can get multiple sizes for it. So it's good for local storage. I didn't see a way of actually accessing it from another computer unless I plug it into another computer, but very simplistic, but still can be pretty handy on either moving files back and forth or using it as a backup um, or plug it into your phone that way. But it does have multiple purposes that you can do. I'm just using it as a backup to one of my computers. Next, let's get to the B Station Plus, And I absolutely love it. Why? Because it's glorified uh, network drive attached to your router. Now, what's great about this, though, is you have eight terabytes of storage and you can use it in a multitude of ways. So you can add files anywhere that you want. So if I go into my B files, I can t tap that and I can have multiple devices back up to this remotely. So as long as I log into my account, I can back up from a, a computer that's on my network or off my network, it doesn't matter. I can also do it with phones as well. So currently I have my phone, my Galaxy Z Fold 7, backing up its photos and videos to this. And then I can also do that with my computer. It automatically backs up any videos I have for a specific folder and it's awesome. Now I can come in here and I can look at any computers that I have it backed up to because right now I'm in just files. So. I can go in here and this is my Mac and you can see backup to B station. So I can have it set up one of two ways. I can have it set up so that it will sync the files back and forth from the B, the B station to the actual computer. But the way I do it is it's just backing up to the B station. So I can come in here. I can look at all these videos that I have automatically uploaded in here. And if I want to, all I have to do, like say I want to watch this, I can just double click it. And I'm going to mute this because I think it's going to be loud and <laughs> I don't need to hear the noise from it, but you hit play 
and it automatically plays it. It's super fast. Now, again, this is on my network. This is not directly attached to my computer and it loads up very fast anywhere. And I can look at these files from my phone, my tablet, my computer, the any device I want to, as long as I have the app installed on my device, or I can even just do it right from the website. Here's a much bigger file. This one's 10 gigs and you can see it instantly plays. I'll just fast forward here. And obviously it has a lot to do with your network. So I can play videos right there, but then I can also, if I need to, I can automatically restore these back to my computer if I want, or just download them one at a time. So I can uh, right click it if I want, and I can copy it to another place. I can download it. I can make a copy. Um, I can put a label, I can rename it. I can move it to, I can copy it to my photos, the B photos. So I can do a basically anything that I want from this and I can select multiple files on here and do the same thing. I can download them all. Very cool. Very, very handy. I love, love the B station. And if I want in the top right, I can click this and I can go right to my B photos. Now I only photos that I'm backing up again are photos and videos. I should say, uh, two B photos is my phone and I can do this from again multiple devices so it's really really helpful um, they just automatically come up here as I, I have them and I'm connected to Wi-Fi you can set certain rules and parameters but it will automatically back those up here and same thing I can download them or delete them or kind of do whatever I want here here's the look of the total capacity now you get eight terabytes but they keep about almost one terabytes worth uh, reserved for system use because they do have like, you can set like internal restore points so that if you deleted the file, you can restore it and stuff like that. You can also see how many gigabytes I have uh, allocated for my B photos setup and my B files. If I want, I can invite up to eight users and this provides them each with a private space to store their files. So it won't get mixed in with my files and it'll allow them to back them up. So I have family members or friends that I want allow uh, to them to back up to this drive. It will do that. And if I'm not mistaken, it also encrypts it too. You can also connect external drives to the B station. So you have even more storage and backup. Both the B station and the B drive are really cool. B drive is basically just an external drive that's small that you can bring anywhere that you want. The B station, on the other hand, is also an external network drive, but you can access that drive from anywhere. And I love that. I think that's really, really cool. And it is great because if I want, I can also back up another drive to it by plugging it in by a USB. I can back that stuff up to the cloud if I want to. There's so many cool things that you can do with this in terms of being productive and I love it. So I would definitely recommend picking at least one of these two up. I'll link them both down below. And uh, if you already have one, let us know what you use it for. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you guys down the road. Peace.